try something a little bit different this time. Let's go ahead and draw ourselves a circuit, but let's give ourselves multiple resistors within this circuit. So let's add a resistor on each side, and so we have three in total. And let's say the circuit has a 20 volt battery source. And let's say this first resistor here, let's say it's 2 ohms. Let's say the second one is 3 ohms. And let's say this third one, let's make it uh, 5, 5 ohms. And you might be asking yourself, what are we looking at? And what, are we, or what we're looking at is a series circuit. And what a series circuit is, is just a circuit with multiple resistors. Multiple resistors. But this is really important here. It's going to be really hard to remember that multiple resistors in a series. In other words, on one path. And you might be asking yourself, what does it mean when we add resistors? Let's spell this out right. Resistors to a series circuit. Or what happens when we add these resistors in series along our circuit? And it's kind of obvious if you think about it. Adding resistors in series adds resistance to your circuit. Let's see if I can spell this out right. Adds res resistance to your circuit. And so hopefully this concept is pretty obvious. But in other words, our resistance total equals resistance 1 plus resistance 2 plus resistance 3, and then so on and so forth for however many resistors there are in your series circuit. Let's go ahead and label these resistances as resistance 1, resistance 2, and resistance 3. It doesn't really matter what you name them as long as you keep the names consistent. But then we can go ahead and plug in our numbers and figure out what the resistance is in our series circuit that we drew over here on the left. And so it's 2 ohms plus 3 ohms plus 5 ohms. And that shouldn't be too hard to figure out. What we get is 10 ohms. How nice. And so what I'd like to actually do is underline that word adds there just to make this concept too obvious. Just too easy, too obvious. And you might be asking about what about the current? So we know the voltage and we know the resistance. And the resistances are changing throughout your circuit. So is our current changing? And the answer is no. The current is constant in a series circuit. And this is because a series circuit, as we said earlier, is one path. And as we explained in the last video, when you only have one path to flow down, the current stays constant. So to find current in a series circuit, we'll just use our regular equation, voltage divided by resistance. And we know our voltage is 20 volts. And we just figured out our total resistance is 10 ohms. And hopefully that's not too hard of a problem that you can't do without a calculator. But if it is, you can go ahead and use a calculator. You won't hurt my feelings if you wanted to check my math. But what we get is a current of 2 amps. So you might be wondering to yourself, how can current be constant if our resistances are changing? If we have 20 volts and our resistances are changing, how can the current be constant? And the answer is because the voltage is changing along with the resistances. And in fact, they're changing proportionally. And the way we know this is actually from something we discovered from our last video, or something we discussed in our last video. And that is that voltage, let's see if I can type the right letters here, voltage drops along, or I'm sorry, across resistors. And we have multiple resistors. And so multiple resistors means multiple voltage drops. Multiple voltage drops. So in other words, our total resistance gives us our total voltage drop. But individual resistors gives us our individual voltage drops. So we'll use the same equation for voltage, that voltage equals current times resistance. But to measure each individual voltage drop, 
so let's say we want to find the voltage drop across resistor 1. So we'll just call that voltage drop 1. We would use the same equation, current times resistance, but we would do current times resistance 1. And our current is, of course, 2 amps. And our resistance in resistor 1 is 2 ohms. And, of course, 2 times 2 is 4 volts. And we do the same things for our across our other uh, resistors. For across resistor 2, the voltage drops the current times resistor 2. And what do we get? Well, the current hasn't changed because it is constant. Can't stress that enough. But the resistor, of course, has. We have a different resistor, and so we multiply this one by 3 ohms. And what do we get? Well, we get 2 times 3 is 6 volts. And, of course, we find voltage 3 the exact same way. We get current times resistor 3 this time. And current is still constant, so it's still 2 amps in this circuit. And our resistor this time is 5 ohms. So what does that give us? 2 times 5 is 10 volts. And so what does that mean? Well, it means at the beginning in the battery, it's at 20 volts. Or the pressure is 20 volts higher than on the other side. But across each resistor, the voltage drops a little bit. So the pressure here versus here is a difference of 10 volts. The pressure here to here is a difference of 6 volts.